now this is the next question from percentage this is asked in upsc 2021 csat paper right so a student appeared in six paper uh, don't get confused you can consider it also like subject right so he is uh, giving uh, or uh, he is appearing in exam of six subject as we normally do in the 10th 12th or in graduation right so here are six subjects so the maximum marks are the same so the maximum are same right maximum are same means the maximum like out of 100 as in our colleges out of 100 how much marks the student are getting so the 100 is common for all it's not uh, different for the different subject right his marks in these paper are in the proportion so now they have given in the proportion the marks are given in proportion so if you remember the ratio and proportion we write it like this right so how many subjects are there six and he is getting marks in the proportion of five is to six is to seven is to eight is to nine is to ten if you remember if we want to remove this proportion signs what we do we consider some value x right you can consider any value and we divide that x with all so it will become 5x 6x 7x because the mark will be in the multiple of x because they are in proportion so the marks will become in p1 paper the marks will be 5x p2 6x p3 7x right so total there are six paper suppose for each paper we are now assuming as i already told you when we are solving the questions in percentage what we assume let the maximum marks in each paper is 100 why we are considering 100 because in the percentage the calculation will be easy if we consider value as a multiple of 100 you can consider any value 200 300 so total subjects are 6 and each subjects have 100 marks so the total marks will be 600 right i hope you have to okay so in the proportion overall he scored what is the score of a student he is scoring 60 percent okay so 600 ka 60 percent what is the 60 percent of 600 it will be 360 right so the student scored 360 okay and we know in each paper how much mark he scored he scored this mark marks so so 360 will be if we uh, add these marks if we add the marks of his all paper then it will be equal to 360 or not you tell me that right it will be equal because we know that he got 60 percent marks so we calculated it that is 360 and we also know that in each paper how much marks he is getting so what we can do we can add these marks also right plus 10x so 360 will be equal to 45x right so now 45 will come this side right so we can divide it from 15 we can divide so the x value is what is the value of x 8 now we can put this x value here so what will be the marks in paper 1 it will be 40 and paper 2 right and here in paper 3 paper 4 paper 5 and paper 6 so how much marks he is getting he is getting 40 marks in paper 1 48 marks in paper 2 right 56 marks in paper 3 in paper 4 64 marks and in paper 5 72 now what he is asking in how many number of paper in how many number of subjects of paper he scored less than 60 percent so we have to find out in which paper he is getting less than 60 percent marks so what is the maximum marks 
for each paper we assumed here what is the maximum mark 100 so what is the 60 percent of it it 60 percent will be 60 only right so the question is asking in how many papers he is scoring less than 60 marks so in paper 1 he is scoring less than 60 marks in paper 2 also and in paper 3 also paper 4 may is scoring more than 60 here also he is scoring more than 60 and here also but we have to find out in which paper he is scoring less than 60 so in paper first second and third is scoring less than 60 so we have to tell in how many paper three paper so what is the answer b3 so its answer will be option b right so i hope ye aapko sabko samajh mein aaya hoga if you are having any problem in understanding this question you can comment and you can get connected with me and i will explain you in detail